Welcome to Trading Lounge and the Asian Report for the 23rd of August. I also asked earlier this week if uh, I wanted to understand who was trading the uh, Hong Kong market and also the Indian market as well. So I've only got one response, so I'll I'll ask again and um, if there's not enough people trading those two markets, then I'm going to drop them and I'm going to focus more on the uh, the Australian market and the sectors within in that space. Anyway, um, so the ASX 200 here, what we've got here is from the top here, we've actually got five waves down here. So we're looking for an A wave, a B wave and a C wave back up to the anywhere from 40 to 80 percent um so we've only got one leg so far within that so we're expecting three waves within this b wave here um there is the possibility that because we've got five waves down here that we could just cascade down in terms of um uh yeah just coming straight down so we need to just be a little bit mindful um of that but when I look at um, iron ore and um, the material sector as well, um, let me just see if I can find the material sector, the MXJ here for a moment. This is a picture of the um, XMJ, which is the mining sector. And from 2016, we've got uh, quite a clear five wave structure to the upside here. And now we have uh, five waves down, and I've just labelled that wave one or wave A here. Um, so this was taken a day or two ago. So, um, yeah, it has dropped uh, further. So this move down through here, and this is the same for iron ore as well, which we should have a look at. I'll do that uh, next week. But, um, yeah, we've got five waves coming down for this as well. So we're, we're definitely, it, it, we're definitely going to get uh, a three-wave counter trend uh, and then another five ways down at minimum. Um, and we'll look to trade um, the mining sector down in this one. So I know that the mining sector and stocks have dropped, um, but we want to catch it on the rebound. So on the retest, we'll be looking to uh, short uh, equities um, within this space here as well. Um, but this from the 2016 low here, this particular move up through here, in the bigger picture, if I go over to the monthly chart here, I may have shown this before here, um, this is a really good possibility for this market here with wave three here, an A wave here, an A and a B and a C wave over here for the B so that this market here that I've just been shown here this five waves up here I mean I've labeled it a little bit differently but the same count um, is you know it puts it at a quite a critical top here you know um, so this could um, uh, come down 61.8 percent and then move up or it could could come all the way down here further for this as well so um, yeah this is why we're going to be looking to uh, take that on as a longer term short trade uh, and in the equities as well but getting back to this one here which could also be the top here as well for the XJO as well so this ABC pattern that I've got here we're not going to get too wrapped in all of that because um, it can also be a wave two here as well let's go into the four hour chart and work this out a little bit. So these are the five waves coming down from the top. And then we were looking, as you know, as an A wave and a B wave and a C wave back up into this space here. It may not even go this high up here. If there's a lot of pressure for this, it could just come to these tops here again and then roll over from that point. But um, all in all, once this correction here is finished, we'll be looking at five waves up here. There is a possibility, this is the 50-60% retracement level where wave B can come back down to uh, this stage. Um, but it's all. this is quite interesting within here um, in that... Uh, this move down through here it's a little bit small for the b wave in comparison or comparing it to wave a here it's a little bit small but it does come down in three waves i just want to talk about that for a moment on the hourly chart here so we've got um the a wave down here we can look at this as the a wave here this move down through here 
can be counted as in three waves here. So I think that that's sort of uh, interesting. And also to this move, this move up through here can also be counted as five waves here. So um, it could, I mean, the B, B waves can get quite complicated. They can either be simple or they can be complex like wave fours. So um, we may end up with something a bit more complex here, but um, it's at the moment, the let's just let's just get a this retracement level thing in here as a you know it's just a bit of a guide stick really it's from here to here with this so so this is the 50 percent retracement level so it's done a reasonable job of getting down to here at this stage i mean it's just a little bit short in ter and in terms of um, time as well that it's taken is also a little bit short as well but the thing is is I do have five waves up here and I do have an A and a B and a C wave down here so I could label this wave one here and wave two here now before I had this up here as the long trade to take this point I can bring that down to this high here now because we're on the level here because remember that this is a this we can also view this as a classic trading levels pattern where we have the arrival the reaction the first high above the level and then we look for an A and a B and a C here but the A and the B this is five waves down to this point and then a B and a C here. So we can have that here. So we would have had, I can't recall if we've done this, but we would have may have had that at the top there, then bringing it down to this one, this one, and this one here. It may not get triggered, but if it does get triggered, then we need to be on the long side from that point because um, we don't want to miss it, you know what I mean? So that means that that would leave us looking for five waves up here in terms of one and two and three and four and five up here for that wave C of B here. So we don't want to miss that. So we need to be on the case for that. And, and I feel that we, you know, that, that, that I am in that case by bringing this, um, bringing this down to this, taking this high out here. You could drop it a bit lower as well. We can look at that. Um, so it's possible to, it's possible, may not be the case, but it's possible to count this as um, an A and a B and a C for the B wave here, then up for one and back for two here, because it is corrective in this particular, in this point here, right? So um, it's possible the B wave can get more complicated here, where we have this is an A wave here, then an A and a B and a C for the B wave and down for the C wave here. That's possible um, as well uh, here. Um, so the point here being that on, on the hourly chart, we'll take the long trade from here, and if this low here is breached, we could probably be able to get a better position than that, then... Um, we can go short from that point there as well. But I don't have five waves down here. We could look at this as wave one and two here, then down for one and back for two here, uh, and then down for three, four, and five here. So if you do trade short here, we either taking this entry here or this trend line when it works its way over to make it as resistance or we get a, a look at the tick chart, we get a better, better place in here for that. Um, the target would be down here at the midpoint here, the 64.50 at that point, okay? Um, just to let you know that that's where we'd be heading towards this box here. And then we would probably also need to look at this too with the B wave being um, over here for that. Um, it's a bit difficult for me to put the B wave on this low here because um, I don't have five, I don't have, um, it just doesn't, it just doesn't make sense in terms of the structure. It doesn't fit properly. So on the tick chart here, <clears throat> okay, that's enough in there. So, so it's possible to have, we've got the A wave here. I'm okay with that. The B wave here is in three waves here. I mean, it, it may be possible that the B waves here in terms of so we've got some sort of a wave here, an A and a B and a C for the B wave here and a C wave here and then down for the B wave here at this particular point. It's, that's possible as well and I've kind of got that there as well. But um, it's kind of finding a balance between being an analyst and being a trader. So it's, it's uh, 
the analyst is good if we can, you know, if we can see a trend happening. So, you know, if this high gets taken out here, then the analyst can come in and say, well, this is what we expect. You know, we're looking for it to move higher in five waves here in terms of one and two and three and four and five, or possibly this wave one here could also be over here with a wave one and two in here. Um, but it still doesn't matter. We still would still need to be going higher at that point. So the analyst part, putting the analyst hat on, say that we will take the top out here and we can be looking um, much further up here to our 61.8% mark here. So that comes in handy. In terms of trading here, we're looking for putting the trading hat on. We're looking for setups in all of this. So with the setups here, um, we can look at this as wave one here, an A wave here, then an A and a B and a C for the B wave here and down for the C wave here. It's a bit complicated and that's why um, this can also be sitting in here as well. We've also got a space for this to be further down here at the 61.8% mark here. Um, but either way, um, yeah, we need to be long above that particular um, high here for this market. So we need to be long above there for that. And this little move here counts up quite nicely as, uh, as five waves. So we could also put that on here just to get a bit more of an angle that can just come through to this point here. So this little move here, it, it also fits as five waves to the upside here. And if that's the case, then the 50-60% retracement level is back down at this space here. So at the 6490 area here. And if that's the case, that you know, if it is, then this market, you know, can wiggle around in this space for a while but then if it finds support back up on the 6500 here which is the medium level well then we can go along from there and the other thing kind of fitting for this too in a bullish market we have Thursday as the bear day and then we have Friday and Monday as the bullish day so the this is the day to, this is the setup and we're in the we're in the right day to trade long um, if we don't get Friday as a bullish day then we've got a change in trend at that point and we'll be going lower from that point and we need to be on the short side at that point because we can see here that this level's important, the 6,500, we can see that it's been support um, here um, and if it can regain that, well then that's fantastic. But if it finds that level there as the resistance um, here, um, because it's still basically doing its dance across here and... Um, yeah, we need to be on the short side. So that short trade, as I mentioned before, would come in on this low here, as such. That would confirm it at that point. But also, too, um, we could also, because the 61.8% retracement level is here, we could be a little bit mindful here. So we could look at the closest largest number, which is the 690 uh, here and we could say to ourselves well that's also at the 61.8% mark so if that became the retested resistance then we could short from that point there as well and in terms of being resistance I'll need to draw over here because I can't draw on this side of the price so uh, the market would come down to it you know the normal thing push down come back up and check that and then that's one point below that area here um, as a breach. If that's breached, then that triggers the downside here. Um, and that would leave you being short around this 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 area through here. Um, and yeah, the market would struggle within all of these previous lows here, but eventually drop down. And would also have problems in the 80, 72 and 65 area here as well, because that's offering support within this market here as well. So um, yeah, um, that's kind of it really. I've sort of thought about everything and um uh so the 6490 as a retested resistance would be your first trade in on the short side and the second one would be here and once group two becomes the resistance you can also look to add to that um as well um as it stands at the moment though um we'll be looking for the long side and this needs to be triggered uh uh, up here for that. Let's have a look at um, Hong Kong and 
India, so with Hong Kong here, um, just on the four hour chart here. I think that we've got of wave one and wave two is very clear. We've got wave three here, which is clear. Um, this is where I'm having trouble with wave four here. If I had a nice five wave structure down here, as I mentioned before, then I would label that wave five and three here, not a problem. And then we would look for an A wave, a B wave and a C wave for wave four here. And then down from that point there. Um, but uh, this does count here as one and two here and three here. But wave four overlaps wave one here. So you would normally look at this as being a B wave then as an A wave, a B wave and a C wave here. So wave four can be sitting over here for this. And if that's the case, if that's wave four here, then we're going to be coming down for wave five of three here and then go into wave four over here. So we've got problems with this, um, but um, let's go to the hourly chart here. So this can be one and two and three and wave four here we look to do a small trade here didn't quite get to our target area the 26 uh 50 uh here um and then it's dropped uh from here so what we can do here now is that we can also look to take out the low um on this low here um Partly because of the wave count, because I'm, I'm tracking two counts here. As I mentioned before, we're looking for an A and a B and a C down here. I can remove that there now and sharpen that up a little bit. If this low here is taken, then you can trade down to this area here, the 25,500 uh, here for this um, area here. Um, this this has got five waves down to this point here and i was looking at this as five waves down then an a and a b and a c wave here for the b for this b wave here it is a bit small though um if i just go to the tick chart uh here for this it, it looks okay here of course so from the top here that's the high we've got one and two and three and four here and then this is all the way down for five to this point here where we have one and two here. And then the third wave is in five waves. One, two, three, four, five to the third wave. A, B, C for the fourth and down for the fifth. It's a bit of an ugly old structure, but there it is. So we've got five waves here. So we're all looking for, uh, this is five waves here, an A wave, a B wave and a C wave here. So that's why I'm thinking that if I can just copy this here just to get perspective, this would be the A wave here. It's a little bit small, but it's kind of okay in a way. Um, it just could get a bit bigger, that's all. Um, but, you know, it really does have that as a nice resistance now, that 26 there. And, of course, this would be wave C here. So with this here, what we can do is just have a little look at this and see how this has progressed here. First thing I like to do is find out where that 61.8% is, which is here. Because this could still build higher from here as well. As I mentioned, this this A, A, B and C here is a little bit small for the B wave here. Just uh, drop this down to 20 ticks. Let's just have a look at that. No, can't figure it out, but certainly impulsive at that stage. It's coming into the support. I mean, it would be good if this 25,900 was you know, a little bit higher up. We could use that um, here for sure. But um, you still can, though. This would be, um, if this became the resistance, then you can short that at this stage. I mean, this move down through here just might be an A wave, a B wave back up 
to this, you know, 50% and then back down here for a C wave. So an A wave, a B wave and a C wave here. And then it can move up from here. That's your problem at this at this point um, uh, in the in the game. So, yeah, just a little bit tricky. That's also top of group one there. The mark is not going to move very quickly in group one here, that's for sure. Um, so you've got time. Just allow that to, if that's the A wave here, that will come back up if, when that finds its low here. I can't quite get that. There may be more low on that. So there's always normally quite a good bounce. It's got to let go of the, the 50, the 950. Um, and if it lets go of that and drops, it will drop to the 30 and then it will have its bounce. And the bounce will be in three waves. So if you see the three wave bounce there, then you can short that to the downside. But you may not go, you may come down much further or you may just come down to um, to the 61.8% and then move up from that point. So a bit of a bit of a trap, but it might be worthwhile having a very small position in there. Um, yeah, okay, that's that. Let's have a look at India. <clears throat> so with India here from the uh, from the top up here at the 12,000. We're looking at this here as an impulse wave to the downside here. So we've got wave one and two here, then one and two and three and four and five here for the third wave. The fourth wave caused a little bit of a problem here, but I knew that it was corrective because we had these three waves here, but I couldn't confirm that until this low here was breached, which it obviously is breached now. Um, so um, yeah, at least we know where we are with this now so that's one thing Let's clean this up here while we go so we're looking for five waves down in this uh, in this move here so I'll just clean that up and would have this be part of the third wave so there'll still be the fourth and the fifth wave to come down and make a new low here and once we've made that new low then we'll have um, then we'll have our another corrective pattern in, in this space. So we'll end up coming back up to here somewhere and then the B wave uh, and then the C wave happening here. We'll go in intraday, of course, and have a look at this. And like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, if you trade the Nifty or the, uh, the other market, the Hong Kong market, then you need to let me know because... I, I don't want to be doing stuff that nobody's looking at, you know, I mean, what's the point? So, I mean, ultimately, um, I just really want to focus on the ASX 200, the, the S&P 500, and, and two in the European sector, and then equities. That's that's what I want to sort of get to. That's what the time I've got, and also it's what I trade myself. So it's it gives me um, <clears throat> it, it gives me I have an interest in it. Then you know an, an invested interest. So I don't have a vested interest in the Nifty or the other markets. Let's just go or the Hong Kong market. So here we've got our wave three here with our A, B, and C here for wave four. And now we're looking down here for this. So one of the points here, this number here, the, well, that's it there, the 10,650. That's the halfway mark between 500 and 800. And it's also the 650 here is 65 number, as I call it, is part of group two here. So 65, 72, and 80 here. So um, that's all part of a group two scenario within in this space. So this is where uh, a series of wave fours can play out. But at the same time, this would be our target down here at the 10,500. It could drop lower from that as well. Um, it could extend down further, but um, we just need to see how, um, how that plays out with that as well. I mean, obviously, that's going to bounce off that um, number here for a bit. It's just...
it's going to be a bit like that. But both of these little moves to the upside here will be in three waves, and these moves here will both be in wave fives, will be in five waves here. Alrighty, uh, thanks for tuning in. Cheers.